I look at L.A. and I think, Odell Beckham Jr. would have been just as well off going to Green Bay and would have had an equal shot at winning a Super Bowl this year. Big news across the NFL. Odell Beckham Jr., her Adam Schefter, signing a deal with the Los Angeles Rams. So he joins Cooper Cup, he joins Robert Woods, he joins Matthew Stafford, and he chose the Rams over the Packers. Those are the two teams that apparently it came down to. The Rams weren't even mentioned yesterday. The Packers, the Saints, um, who am I leaving out? The Seahawks were mentioned, the Chiefs, Patriots were in the mix, and ultimately he's headed west to L.A., which is interesting because Odell Beckham Jr., Wanted out in Cleveland because he wasn't getting enough targets. And now he joins an offense with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods where Deshaun Jackson wanted out because he wasn't getting enough targets. But here's betting that's going to work because they're going to spread the ball around and another sign that the Rams are all in. Well, this is a sign that he is uh, not all about himself. This is an unselfish move for a couple reasons. <clears throat> First, you're talking about targets. He's not getting 10 a, ga- 10 a game no. with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. It's not all about money because according to Spotrack, they are 21st in available cap room with $2.5 million, under $2.5 million. So it may be incentive laden that those incentives count against next year's cap. Yeah, maybe. But they probably don't have great cap money next year either. And I'm rooting for Odell Beckham, which is surprising. I'm rooting for the Rams. I saw the Rams just get shellacked. I was there. Titans did impressive work. But I think most NFL fans should probably jump on the Rams bandwagon because if you get frustrated, a lot of people have unrealistic hopes for their teams at the trade deadline with dealing their draft picks, all of that. And I don't think there'll be a sea change, but if you want your team to be a little bit more aggressive, to not overvalue its draft picks, to be willing once in a while to change its financial structure and say, hey, yeah, that first round draft pick is pretty good on the salary structure, but we could sure change the dynamic of our team if we traded it for this guy who's more expensive. Then you should want the Rams to work this all in system <clears throat> where they're not valuing high draft picks. They're giving them up for top players. They went and got Jalen Ramsey. They're getting Odell Beckham. They're, they're making moves. They're getting Von Miller. They're crafting deals because if they go and win, the NFL, more than any league, is a copycat league. And teams, foremost, it's a copycat league with scheme. But if the Rams win, it'll be a little bit of a copycat league on on team structure. And it's hard to do financially. But not every team can do this. Not every team can do it, but more teams will be willing to make uh, I, one move. Not ten moves, I look at, but one move. I look at Tampa Bay a year ago. You know, they, they gear up. They see, we've got Tom Brady for so long. Let's go. We're going to win some Super Bowls, as many as we can while he's here. And they go in and they take, you know, uh, a risky move at the time in Antonio Brown. They do some different things. They can get Rob Gronkowski out of retirement where no one else could because of his relationship with Tom Brady. I look at L.A. and I think Odell Beckham Jr. would have been just as well off going to Green Bay and would have had an equal shot at winning a Super Bowl this year. But L.A. is going to win out over Green Bay. It's what I brought up yesterday. I don't see Odell Beckham Jr. signing up to go play in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Makes perfect sense with his personality to sign up to go play in Los Angeles. I don't think that the, uh, I was going to say Chicago Bears, maybe a bad example. Pick any team, the Tennessee Titans. I just don't think that those teams are going to be in position to just go do whatever they want and get guys to sign up with them like some other teams, like Tampa Bay. Well, LA's got something going Tampa for Bay it. with You're Brady right. and the Rams well, in L.A. Warm weather, too, for both those cities. Uh, that, uh, no team can repeat what L.A. is doing uh, because the circumstances will not repeat themselves. The, the reason L.A. is able to do this with a $182 million salary cap, which every team has, there's a ceiling of a 182.5. Next year, it'll be 208, I believe. 208 yep. is the ceiling for the salary cap. The reason why L.A. can do this is they have Denver willing to pay $9 million of Von Miller's salary this year. So you have to have a trade partner that's willing to dump a, a superstar player for a rent player just to get him off the books to get draft picks in return. L.A.'s re- willing to trade a second to third round pick. Denver's willing to pay the player not to be there. They're paying for the draft picks is what they're doing for the second and third round pick to rebuild. You have to find that trade partner in a separate conference And then you have to have the luxury of having Odell Beckham Jr. get cut in week 10. Yeah. So Tampa Bay couldn't have done this last year because this Tampa Bay loaded up in the offseason within the structure of the salary cap. 
The Rams are taking advantage of the Denver Broncos and their their inability to win with Von Miller and needing to reload. And they're taking advantage of Cleveland scraps. But Ramsey cost big. Anybody could have gone willing, and done that. Willing Stafford to trade. was on the market. They're we're willing to about, trade. We're talking about Carolina wanting a big quarterback. Carolina could have gone, went and got. My Stafford. point is though, Paul, L.A. couldn't have gone and got Von Miller if Denver didn't pay Von Miller no, to leave. I agree, and a lot of things have fallen into place for them favorably. But at the beginning, when they started to do this with the Jalen Ramsey move, with and then with the Matthew Stafford move, they suckered somebody into taking Jared Goff and the hundred eight million dollar trade. No, a no trade doubt chip it had to start somewhere and other teams haven't done that and if the rams win i think it's some a, more teams will start to think about it's a copycat league that's this is difficult just to put on a copier and hit no i, I agree you but, can't it, you have to have certain things line up for you i, I agree but i think some teams it also maybe starts start to think correctly. hey i can i can trade a couple picks for the best cornerback in the league if he's miserable somewhere and he wants to go somewhere and be loved. I could be the team that loves that guy and gets a cornerstone instead of doing this thing where I say, oh, I've got to draft him. I've got to develop him. He's got to be my guy. That thinking can change a little bit, and the Rams can help that happen. I still get more excited about the team that drafts properly, builds into their system, and then sprinkles in that big swing for the fences, one or two moves. Instead of doing it this way. Well, let's see if the Rams win, if it shifts a little.